Todd, your team was in the exact same spot last round. Obviously, you didn't have the response you wanted. Milan and many others were saying every game's different. But do you ever get a sense, do you feel, what, what message, what will be different tonight to ensure that, you know, your team comes out more prepared like you were in the second period compared to the first? Well, we're, it's, it's a new event. It starts all over and, and uh, you know, maybe we'll feel better, maybe we'll execute better, uh, combinations will, will perform better. Uh, the preparation stays the same. Uh, the execution level goes up, and uh, for me, it's a it's a new event. It's an opportunity uh, in front of us, and we have uh, in the past responded well against uh, you know when our backs are are not necessarily up against the wall, but when we've been pushed and and played poorly the night before. So I expect the same. The difference here is that you're down to the final eight, and the other team, as I mentioned, gets in the way. They're they're a good hockey club. Um, the eight teams that are playing deserve to be here, and they're all very, very strong. So you don't get away with a lot. Can you talk about what you've seen from Silverberg that's made him so lethal in the playoffs? Uh, from Silverberg? Yeah. He's a tremendous player. He's, uh, you know, he's prepared to shoot the puck and um, plays a good two-way game, so he's been an effective player for them. Uh, Todd, uh, Randy Carlisle said yesterday that uh, Connor McDavid suggested that he's getting the white glove treatment from the officials. Um, any comment on that? Well, I, I heard that and I was surprised because I thought we were supposed to be the team whining. Um, so that threw me off a little bit. Um, you know, and then the, uh, you know, as far as Connor goes, I think there's two or three, maybe four players in the league. Connor, guy that's not playing in Pittsburgh tonight, and some others that have to play through that hooking and the holding and the mauling and all that type of stuff that goes on not just in this series against Anaheim, but all year. And they, uh, they do a tremendous job of it. They entertain. They, uh, they're, uh, they're terrific at playing through it. Uh, yeah, they do draw some penalties. When it's all said and done. They probably could double that total, but it doesn't happen. And, you know, the white glove part of it, um, that is, you know, I think that's questioning the integrity of the officiating. So I'm going to stay out of that and let, let them do that. Todd right here. Is, is the white glove comment and, you know, going to Kelowna and, and getting out of the bubble, is that just part of, you know, is that just gamesmanship and, and trying to get a mental edge in, in a series? I don't know. I'm, I'm done with all of that stuff. we got to play a game tonight, so I already commented on the white glove, and we're good. Your uh, team has been pretty good in bounce-back games after, after our off one, particularly your goaltender. What, what is it that you think makes Cam so good at bouncing back after maybe a rough run? Well, when you look at our team, we're, we are a relatively young team, but Cam's a mature goaltender. Um, his entry into the league wasn't out of uh, uh, the Western Hockey League or anything like that. He went to college. He put some years in. He put some years in as a backup. So he's mature. Uh, he's got a real good level of emotional control. He doesn't get too high or too low. And... Um, I think one of the big things for him is he accepts responsibility for his performances. And um, he'll do that. He'll come back and play real well tonight. Watching film at this point, you had an <coughs> extra day off between the games. When you're showing film to your guys now, are you showing them more what they're doing well? Is it a combination of what's missed? How much is it your team, how much is it showing on what the Ducks are doing? There's a combination of, of everything. When you have an extra day, you can dig a little deeper. And, um, you know, you can you – can, dwell on some of the negatives a little bit more because you have repair time the next day. And, uh, you know, so we did a bit of both. We looked at our game. We looked at their game. We looked at individual performances, um, adjustments we think we can make, adjustments they've been making. Um, you know, so it's, it's that type of uh, approach to it. Todd, the first goal they scored was a stretch play. Does Anaheim do that more than other teams? Or was that a trick play, a set play, or is they just try to stretch the ice more than other teams? No, they they, uh, they win face-offs more than other teams, so they have the ability to set some things up. And uh, like I said yesterday, you have to tip your hat. That was a very crafty uh, play that worked in their favor. And, um, you know, they, they get up one nothing, and it set the tone for the game. Your zone entries on your power play the last few games haven't been what you've wanted. Is it more what they're doing or your guys not executing your zone entry plan? Both. And what do you feel has to change then for your guys to execute your entries better? Well, we just have to be cleaner. Okay, thanks.